Are you someone who collects things? Yeah, maybe it's stamps, baseball cards, beanie babies. Whatever it is, it likely takes up space. So how Well, are you someone who collects things? Yeah, maybe it's stamps, baseball cards, beanie babies. Well, are you someone who collects things? Yeah, maybe it's stamps, baseball cards, beanie babies. Whatever it is, it likely takes up space. So how do you store it or decide if really you should keep it? Yes, joining us with some thoughts on that, personal organizer Matt Byer. And with him is Mike Dolce. Mike is the host of the Secrets of the Sire radio show. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Hey, happy to be here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with the box of comics because I think a lot of people have this box of comics. And all yep. that. Do yeah. I keep it? How do I organize it? What do I do with it? Yeah, so if you got a box like this in your uh, uh, attic somewhere, where it's just co collecting dust, maybe. Um, great organizing rule of thumb, and one that works really well for or, uh, organizing collectibles is don't ask where, ask why. What I mean by that is, uh, to ask if you say where should this go, turn it around, say, well, why am I keeping it? Why am I keeping it? Because you can keep the same item for several different reasons. Um, and if that item is comic books, Mike's got some uh, examples of what we're talking about. Hey, I mean, or should we be saving this for our kids or if our husband has a collection? Are they really worth anything? That's the thing. It's all, it all comes down to print run. It all comes down to, like, it's basic economics, supply and demand. You know, there was uh, a million copies of Death of Superman printed years and years and years ago. So if everyone bought a million copies of something, it's not really worth no, really, a lot. It's like yeah. a singer sewing machine. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. They're worth a million bucks yeah. and they're worth exactly. nothing. Exactly. But if you got something that, that's very exclusive, very collectible, um, that not many people have and they find out about it later, gets turned into a movie or a TV show or whatever the case is, that becomes something to, to collect and very valuable. How do we know? I know you've got a radio show. Do people yes. bring it to you or how do we find out before we talk? We it? get that asked all the time. I, I get comics that come up to me all the time they, you know, they say, can I, oh, I have this, what's it worth? Uh, I mean, it's, it's very easy. First, condition is very a big thing. Um, okay. Make sure that's in good, in good shape. I tried um, to sell some comics of myself um, you know, recently, and I thought it was mint, mm -hmm. and it was and not it mint. mint yeah. And I got, I got really... Uh, yeah. you, got, you got shafted. Yes, my, my eBay seller rating went down on that. Uh, uh, you that's know, unfortunate. On that. But, but it's true. It's, it's a common misconception. Well, Matt, how do we keep them from not yellowing? How do we keep them pristine? How do we keep them in good shape? Okay, so this is um, a comic book box. Um, we've got uh, the, the bags. There's also um, a backing inside to keep the structure. Uh, that is a great way to protect uh, your comic books. And you can buy these somewhere? There's, they make them specifically for yep. comics? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Any comic yeah. book store, your local comic book store. Oh, so you can go to a comic book store and they'll actually sell store. the protectors yeah. as well. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what if you have a beautiful collection? You actually used to work with Jim Henson, and these I, are I real did. Muppet busts. They are indeed. And uh, you know, the point is that, um, I, you know, you want... If if you want to, the reason you're keeping something is because you want to display it. Display it well, and uh, this is a great way to keep them visible. You can enjoy them, but they're also protected. And so, and is there, there's no special air thing here. They're just in there, and you know we're not worried about acid and things like that. Or yeah, no, they're good. They're they good. Protect it from uh, from dust. In my case, it protects it from cats. Pretty, exactly <laughs> right. Seriously, yeah. no, that's a good thing yeah. to know. And this is uh, e easy to find these. Or yep, what do you this, I got this from a uh, container store. Yeah, oh, great. Okay. Got a whole variety there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Or whatever you need. Okay. okay. Right. And then we're moving down the line. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to display it, there's uh, plenty of display racks just like this. So if you want to turn your your home into a comic book store, or or have like a room that that looks just like a comic book store, you know, you have things that you can easily display and line up and just kind of showcase. Um, if you want to hang it on the wall, though, um, that's a custom frame uh, okay. that was made specifically for that comic book from ComicBookDisplays.com. This is kind of mm -hmm. cool. So this is uh, this is this is kind of like back to the Oprah days. Like if you just love it, but it's not worth anything, make it uh, worthwhile to keep yes, it. So you don't have to clutter in your yeah. Even if it is, even if it is worth something, I mean, it's 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 in protective case and it's up on the wall. You, you know, you can keep it. Can you guys briefly address donating your collectibles mm -hmm. if you yeah. if you have just too many of them and you don't know what yes. to do with them? Yes. Um, so if you got to, if it's comic books, uh, try your local libraries first. And there's also a great organization called Comics for Kids, okay. uh, which you can donate to. And uh, there's a form, a uh, tax form, on the, which I have on the end there. It's uh, 82. 83 uh, for uh, non-cash um, deductible um on cash donations, yeah. and there's a check mark on it for collectibles. And okay. You fill that out, and there's instructions online. So you can have a tax write, have a little bit of a tax write off there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Comicsforkidsinc.org. Yep, uh, you it. can find it there. Slash donate, and then also um, you actually, uh, Mike, you've got. Uh, where can we find you? Because we can listen to your show. Where? Yeah, you can listen to the show every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, on TalkRadio.nyc, and we stream it live on Facebook. And then if you want to catch up on previous shows, go to SecretsOfTheSire.com. And if you want any of the comic books that I that I have here, this is all my work here. Um, go to MikeBooks.com. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. it.
right. I, but I just I think comic comics are fascinating. I don't know. Well, now we know what to do with them. At least they won't be messy. Okay. <laughs> and if it's a space you desire, call Matt Byer. Matt's website is, of course, Matt's uh, MattByer.com. That's B A I E R. Thank you to both of you. Thank you. And now it is time to announce the winner of the NAPO CT contest. Okay, this is something we've been talking about where someone's going to get you guys to come in yep. and totally remake her space. And it is Amanda Barnes from Norwalk. Mm -hmm. So that's a picture awesome. of Amanda and her family. And here's what her house looks like. All right, so she's busy. She's got a lot of stuff. She's going to get all that organized and that amazing and all cleaned up and made perfect in the next couple of weeks. All right, yeah. that's fantastic. Good luck, Amanda Barnes. We appreciate you uh, entering the contest. And Matt, good luck to you. Thank